Well, here we are at the Eucalyptus booth at VMworld, and we're going to check out a demo of Eucalyptus 2.0. And to do that, we have a uh, new eucalyptus -er. What What do you guys call yourself? Eucalyptusites, koalas? Um, I think our city likes calling us eucalyptites. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. I I'm a eucalyptite, first of all. <laughs> And my name is Shashi Mysur. I'm a product specialist at Eucalyptus System. So this is the conceptual architecture of uh, how a eucalyptus cloud is typically deployed. There are a couple of controller components um, that these are all software components that can be overlaid on top of an existing ID infrastructure. So essentially, you know, uh, our audience might be already be aware of this. It's a software layer. Once you overlay on top of an existing infrastructure, it transforms it into an easy to like cloud. And underneath the layer, the cloud computing layer, you can have multiple hypervisors. So on the left here, what you see is a Zen-based or a KVM-based cluster, and on to your right is a VMware-based cluster. So you can have multiple hypervisors underneath the same cloud, and our users now have the ability to manage multiple hypervisors as part of the same cloud. Uh, right, so, so they can be heterogeneous, Exactly. We are kind of hypervisor agnostic. So you can have multiple hypervisors, and yet expose an EC2 compatible interface for self-service provisioning to your end users. So the cloud controller is a software component. That's a eucalyptus component, right? Uh, which is a software component. Uh, it acts as a front end to your eucalyptus cloud. And is also the brain behind the cloud in the sense that it handles the resource provisioning and manages the scheduling decisions. Also exposes administrative interface. The administrator can administer or manage users, manage images, manage groups of users. Uh, quotas for each of these groups, extract accounting information for feeding into your chargeback or billing systems, uh, and also manage images uh, and, and, and set certain access control policies on these images. Right. The Walrus here is uh, another software component part of the Eucalyptus uh, cloud computing platform, which is equivalent to Amazon's S3. Ah, right. And the cluster controller is actually a front-end component for every cluster. So, in other words, you can slice your cloud into multiple clusters, and these clusters could be based on different hypervisors, or they could be based on different data centers. You know, if you have multiple data centers dispersed geographically across different locations, you can still manage them as part of the same cloud by having multiple clusters. Right. So the front end for every cluster is called a cluster controller, and the storage controller here is a component in Eucalyptus which implements the Amazon EBS functionality, the Elastic Block Store functionality. Right. And then we have a couple of node controllers and uh, VMware brokers which, uh, which are essentially responsible for managing the compute nodes or the workhorse machines in your Eucalyptus cloud. So that was a quick high-level overview of the conceptual architecture.